Good morning, it's 11 o'clock here in Nairobi, but it's a bit chilly, it's a bit cold wherever I am. Though I'm so grateful I'm alive and uh, I've woken up, I love that I can see, I can hear. I'm grateful for the Lord to give me another new day. Uh, I have a song for you, but in my mother tongue. Ana ero yesu kende enengimana ana ero yesu kende enechunya in me wajoni ero yesu daki welcome to lua bange ana ero yesu kende enechunya that is to say i love god I love God only because he loves me. But you, if you love God, why don't you leave that thing? Example, why don't you leave alcohol? Why don't you leave whatever you're doing which is not good for him to follow him? In a summary. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, God. Thank you, Heavenly King, for this morning thank you for this channel of king of glory bless each and everyone watching because you're wonderful and grateful we are wonderfully made in your image thank you for your son jesus christ dying on the cross because of us we ask for forgive for, for for forgiveness this day oh father for all those things that we acknowledge and those that we don't acknowledge oh lord because you are a perfect being of king of glory, you know us better than we know ourselves. All this I ask in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, this is a channel for self. And uh, I have given you a treat of myself, of my language. Yeah. <laughs> ah, secondly, today I wanted to talk about, I continue talking about ourselves the mental, the physical, and the spirit. And from the mental, after talking about the conscious and the unconscious, I continue to talk about uh, how to activate your brain. Because that is part of the self-care. Remember, we know ourselves, self-awareness, then you take care of yourself. Okay. Since you have known yourself, what is your IQ, your EQ, uh, your personality, what you like, what you don't like, your habits, you know, okay. So how do you activate this important part of your brain? Yeah. There are so many things going on right now and uh, maybe or not maybe all of us including me you would feel stuck you would feel stuck maybe physically staying at home because not going to job so you might feel stuck physically emotionally spiritually mentally in any way there is a way to activate yourself by activating your brain Les Brown is a motivation speaker. He has some few steps that he says that we could use to activate, uh, to get unstuck from whatever we are suffering from. You can be stuck physically when you're feeling your body is weak and sick and down. Not just only sick from COVID or any other. Any sickness can make us feel sick. Especially those who are bed in bed just because they are sick. Those who are locked down in prisons. Those who are physically, you are stuck. You have to stay in the house physically. You are not able to move, whatever the case this is the way to look at it so physically emotionally spiritually financially those needs he says for you to grow or move away from there 
evaluate where you are what happened lessons you are going to learn from it and how to look at it positively life is not fair in any way but doesn't mean we don't look at it differently an example of his first point that i was just saying if you look at this one of us would say a half glass of water a half full glass of water the other person will say half empty glass okay so that is two perspective of looking at a thing but what less brown or what i'm trying to say today let's look at the other part the other positive side of each issue wherever you are stuck in okay look at the positive part where you are where you are stuck that's number one Number two, forgive. Look whatever it is. Remember you are going to evaluate, you are going to clear, you are going to reflect, and then forgive. Clear your bitterness. Clear your negative thoughts. In this mind is very important. Remember what we said about the subconscious mind. Uh, subconscious mind. It's very powerful. What we put in it, the seed we put in it, will bring forth fruits. If it's positive, it's the positive results that will come out. So what we put in, forgiveness is very important. Letting go of whatever the situation. It is yourself. For you to grow and get unstuck, you need to do that. Number three, make a declaration for your life. A declaration is like, um, I would say, a promise to myself. If I'm getting unstuck from financial being, what would I give back? Like, would I worship and uh, help others? Mm. Example, when you need healing, getting stuck physically, getting out of prison, getting out of hospital, getting out, you have to make a declaration. What is it that I will do? Declaration to yourself. How am I going to be um, positive how am I going to be productive how am I going to work with whatever I'm, I'm looking forward to getting stuck in relationships would I treat the others better okay so you make a declaration that's the third thing now it is not easy. All these things I've said, they are not easy. So the fourth thing is, when you're facing that challenge of forgiving, letting go, declaring, and also finding out how to get out, continue. Don't stop. Don't stop. And help somebody with it. When you get out, you are able to help somebody with it. You are able to nourish somebody in that area. Okay, financially, you can help somebody out. Whether you are lending them or anything, or just bringing them from one place to another. Whatever, if it is, you are getting out emotionally. When you are happy, let's say you are stuck emotionally. That means you're depressed, you're sad, you're... You're grieving, like I was saying, I was grieving. When you get better and feel better about it, or um, you feel well and think positive, you are affecting the people around you. 
when you love yourself, when you take care of yourself, you are also helping the people around you. Because I got uh, well and you get happy when I'm happy, when I'm healthy. My kids are happy because their mother is, ha is ha healthy and happy. All the people who are grieving the same person also get the chance to grieve and to let go. When you forgive others and start talking to others, they also get better. It is very, very, very important. It's a ripple, ripple action from you who says the positive. It affects everybody you touch in your life. Remember that. When you are able to go back to that dark side of maybe doing wrong to be in the prison or sickness or anything, you will recognize. So you will pull back. These steps to being unstuck are about 11. We have only talked about four. We'll talk about the other seven. But I don't want to rush it because each and every part, how it is related to ourselves, is very important. This is all about you and how to use your brain. It is important to use yourself and be yourself and develop yourself. Um, being a mother, it's very, very important. In a house, you, you, you determine the atmosphere of the house. When your mother is mad, the whole place is... When she's happy, everybody's happy. Those are my past experiences. And I know, when I'm happy, my kids are happy. And thank you. So, doesn't mean that it's only the mother. I'm talking about a mother because I am a mother and a grandmother and a son, a daughter and a sibling. But whoever you are, you are a son, you are a father, you are a grandfather, Whoever you are, you are a teacher. When the teacher is happy, everybody feel good in the class. Because I'm a teacher, I know that. The day you are mad in that class, mm -mm. so it starts from you to radiate that energy, the positive, the nice energy. Thank you, thank you so much. And may God bless you. We'll continue with this. God bless.